Dozens of U.S. states have filed a lawsuit accusing Facebook and Instagram owner Meta of profiting from children's pain and damaging their mental health and misleading the public over the safety of its platforms. How is the Indian government viewing this? Joining me is Minister of State for Electronics and Technology, Mr. Rajiv Chandrasekhar. Mr. Chandrasekhar, really appreciate your time. Similar complaints have been received by your ministry on the adverse impact of social media on adolescents, be it increasing cases of suicides, depression and even aggression. How is the government of India viewing this? So, Maria, uh, so thank you for taking this issue up. Uh, you know, our, our Prime Minister Narendra Modi ji, way back two years ago, has uh, essentially laid out the basic principles uh, in terms of how we need to look at the internet, how we need to look at tech in general, uh, and has said that, uh, you know, while we have certainly known the internet to be a power for good and technology for a power for good for many, many years and decades, that is how we have all uh, seen technology and the internet. Certainly, it is clear now that there are harms that are also prevalent on the internet. There are issues of addiction, user harm, exploitation that are also uh, prevalent on the internet. And we have taken a view that uh, safety and trust for our 1.2 billion digital nagriks who will be on the internet uh, and the 830 million who are already on the internet is a policy priority and we are shaping pretty much whatever we do along those basic principles that have been laid down. So uh, safety and trust and accountability, these three basic attributes are what we are building policies and rules around. And if you see what we have done recently with the online gaming rules, uh, Maria, we have brought in the issue of permissibility for only those games online which do not have addiction, which do not cause any harm, which do not have uh, uh, gambling and betting. Uh, and these three are characterized as three uh, not acceptable user harms as far as online games are concerned. And the latest rules that we came out address about 11 different types of user harms. Uh, including but not limited to addiction. So I'm glad that actually the world which really was silent about these social media platform for so many years are now waking up to the threats of user harm that these platforms certainly represent in today's day and age. Yes, and in the past also, uh, you know, the government of India, your ministry had written to Facebook, to Twitter to take down contents which uh, had child pornography. The response from the social media giants have been delayed. Uh, can we expect some tightening, uh, tightening of norms in order to ensure adherence? No, I, I think it is absolutely necessary that as we move forward and as more and more Indians, uh, digital nagriks come online and start using these platforms, there are many crores, 83 crore Indians already, uh, as I said, uh, we are the largest connected democracy in the world. And so, therefore, it is very important for both the platforms and the government working in a, in a non-adversarial way, in a partnership, to ensure that these platforms are much safer than they are today. And uh, safety really means that these platforms must not have CSAM, must not have misinformation. Mr. Chandrasekhar, the WHO, that is the World Health Organization, has recommended a ban on phones in schools um, and for children of a certain age. Uh, the UK government will go ahead and implement it. Is there something on these lines on card here? Are you looking at something? I mean, is that really an option here? No, look, uh, th this is uh, certainly not something that I, I deal with directly. That is squarely in the domain of the Ministry of Education. And of course, the state governments uh, have their own say in matters like what uh, students in schools do. But I certainly believe uh, sitting where I am and seeing the Internet as I am seeing today evolve from what it used to be to what it is today and what it will be with all of these new emerging technologies of artificial intelligence, etc., that there ought to be a greater, deeper discussion on the harmful effects of tech in general and the harmful content on the internet in particular. I think that debate, especially with through the prism of protecting our children, protecting their own uh, growth and uh, evolution into adults, 
well rounded adults is something that we ought to think about and be more than a little concerned about i think that point i would certainly stress from a legislative point of view and the rules point of view and the new forthcoming digital india act we are certainly looking at the harmful effects and the user harms uh, that platforms can uh, can imply for or can be represent for those who use those platforms and i think that discussion is a maria is a very good discussion to start having uh, because uh, for all these years we have looked at tech through the prism of the good that it does but we should also wake up to the uh, the reality that there is a harm and there is a criminality that is also lurking uh, on the internet and on in tech in yes. general so this is a conversation that we should have yes mr chandrasekhar the fact is that india is the biggest user base for facebook and instagram so one would say that vulnerability to this kind of addiction also goes up how do you ensure accountability of social media organizations no i think the accountability cert- certainly i think the world has it by and large uh, uh, given um, a free ride or a free pass to most of these platforms over the last decade and a half the us uh, in particular uh, with their uh, you know the the right to first amendment the free speech and the section 230 have given these uh, platforms an immunity from any prosecution even in our act in the it act there is un- there is unfortunately a uh, provision called section 79 that uh, gives immunity to these platforms from prosecution of any criminal or uh, harmful content or harmful effect that these platforms may have so i think it is time to relook at all that and i think it is important for platforms to be much more accountable and responsible for what they do and what content they host and who they allow uh, on their platforms to host content and that i i suspect and i'm i'm not trying to be an astrologer or predict i think the days of this free pass and immunity to the platforms are over and more and more people around the world including in india are asking for and certainly this is our government's intention as well that we want to have these platforms more and more accountable for the harm that is caused by the platforms advertently inadvertently accidentally deliberately as the case may be but uh, we certainly want more and more accountability of the platform of the platforms for the harms uh, they cause or if they cause to the uh, to the people that use it especially our children my last question to you and i'm going back to the question that i had asked uh, you know the government when it is about taking action against facebook or insta uh, have you in the past communicated and what has the response been because i remember those very strong letters being written by the it ministry to facebook to to, to twitter to take down those contents but what really happened post that no maria i don't think it's an issue about whether we write strong letters or soft letters i think we expect all of the platforms to follow the laws and follow the rules that have been laid down uh, we have certainly in the recent uh, days uh, sent out notices under our it rules on csam uh, child sexual abuse material that we believe uh, that uh, exists and we have uh, we have evidence of that on many platforms and we have sent them these notices and the if they don't re- react some of them have responded some of them have not if they don't respond uh, the consequences under law will follow uh, automatically i don't i don't think this is about uh, uh, acting tough or not tough or uh, writing strong letters or s- soft letters this is certainly about an undiluting zero tolerance expectation from the government of all platforms foreign or indian big or small that they must comply with indian law and they must ensure that uh, the expectations that they don't cause harm to the indian citizens is always follow all right uh, it minister rajiv chandrashekhar there uh, wading into this uh, current uh, suits that have been filed uh, against facebook and instagram really appreciate your time thank you so much thank you